let's talk about the cell. A cell is a basic structural, functional, and biological unit of all known organisms. Cells are also building blocks of life and the smallest unit of life. A simple cell consists of cytoplasm, a jelly-like substance which holds all the organelles of the cell and closed within a cell membrane. Cells also contain genetic information in the form of a DNA. All these organelles help the cell in its unique functions and survival. Cells are too tiny to be seen by naked eye and therefore we require special instruments called as microscopes to see them. Now let's find out who and how was the first cell discovered. In mid-1600s, Robert Hooke, an engineer microscopist, discovered the cell in a bottle cork. He cut thin slices of the cork and observed it under a microscope. He found many honeycomb-like structures and small pores, which he named as cells. Meanwhile, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutchman, made a single lens microscope and observed many microbes for the first time. After this, as time passed, scientists around the world started observing cells from plants, animals, as well as microbes. They started making theories about how the cell is formed and how is it the fu fundamental unit of life. Until finally in the 1830s, Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann proposed the cell theory. According to the cell theory, all living organisms are made up of one or more cells, which means all living organisms are either unicellular made up of just a single cell or multicellular made up of multiple cells together. Cell theory also states that cell is a fundamental unit of all living organisms. Rudolf Virchow made an important contribution to this cell theory and he added that all living cells arise from pre-existing cells by division. This is how the modern day cell theory was formed. This video took a lot of hard work, so please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.